Oh, there's a pretty truck there. Hey guys, check this out. This is the Spec Ops Mobile Base by TDF113. This is a really large truck for Space Engineer Standard. Look at that. There's like a door back there. What the hell? Alright, let's do a quick walk around here. Uh, fancy bumper. Alright. Another door. Hmm. Uh, button. Huh. I'm not sure what that button is for. What's this one? Core access. Ooh. There we go. Huh. Can't wait to check the interior. It seems like there's multiple floor inside the trailer. What's this thing over here? What is the ramp? Oh. Fancy. I do like the rear lights here. They're like vertical rear lights. I don't think I've ever seen a ground vehicle with vertical rear lights like this on Space Engineers. Uh, I'm guessing these buttons will open the left side of the trailer then. Uh, this one. There you go. Oh, the truck is 31,386 PCO with 11,447 blocks. That's a lot of PCO and blocks. Alright, we're gonna check the trailer first and then we're gonna check the cap of the truck to the front. Hmm. This is like a, well, a rather intricately designed garage or storage area. What are those things over there? Small cargo containers. So I guess if you have like something that you want to quickly put in the trailer, you can just put them in the containers here. I'm guessing these uh, buttons open and close the ramp there. What the hell? What? Huh. I think there's like a grabby arm kind of thing there. Oh, there's a there's a connector here, by the way. So I guess you can put like, hmm, maybe a small fighter or a miner. Alright, let's try this grabby arm thingy. Uh, no, that's the wrong button. Is this the button? <gasps> what the hell? Wait, what? Huh. Huh. What? I get it. So, you know. If we have like a vehicle, well, hold on, like this one here, for example, I guess we can grab the vehicle using that grabby arm thingy. Come on, uh, grab the vehicle. All right, here. Ooh. Wait, no, wait. Look at this setup, by the way. Kind of cool. Feels like I'm on a camping trip on one of those fancy motorhomes. All right. I think I get it this time. Here it goes. Uh, uh. Well, oh, there you go. Huh. That actually works surprisingly well. I thought it was gonna explode or something. <laughs> Alright, releasing the thing there. I guess I can just park the. Oh, hold on. Uh, well. I guess I'll just let it uh, be attached to the arm there for the parking. Let me, can we close this door now? Haha. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna close all these things here. Let's check the second floor. Oh, are you guessing this? Oh wow, this is like a full blown command center. This is where you can spy all your enemies. We got plenty of screens up there using hinges. I guess that's one of the reasons why this vehicle is very expensive. Look at this back here, by the way. Look at all these hinges. I mean, you know, they are super cool, but they do take a lot of PC. So uh, I like this passenger seat here. So, you know, if you have like a squadron of commandos, you can put them in this trailer. To the back here, we've got some ammo storage. Uh, are these even connected to anything? Let's see here. Oh, there you go. So these things 
uh, are connected with uh, these conveyors back here. Quite a large empty space back here. I guess that's why we don't have a window back here. Alright, uh, programmable blocks here. Alright, uh, event controllers. There's the survival kit back here as well. More event controller. Oh, I guess that's pretty much the trailer. Let's see what kind of control we have here. Hatch opening, closing joints, third controller, solar array. What the hell? Alright, what's this third controller? Oh, is this like, wait, I've seen this on Fast and Furious. So I guess we can open the hatch here. Come on. Oh, oh wow. I'm guessing this. I mean, it's kind of stuck though. Help. <laughs> wait, the gun is stuck. Really? Uh, no, that, that puts the gun back inside. Wait, no. Ah, well, oh, there we go. It's finally out. We get the gun outside. That's really, really cool, actually. I mean, you know, practically speaking, you're just better off with a vanilla turret, which is cheaper as well. But still, this is super cool. What's the solar array buttons? <gasps> oh, wow. That's really, really cool. I, I like this trailer. I just wish, uh, Hinges and rotors and you know pistons and subgrids in general are not super expensive on PC on space engineers because you know they do make this kind of builds relatively impractical. They're super cool though. What the hell? Oh nice lighting there on the back of the cap of the truck there. Alright, how do I uh, I guess we use this slider? We go up here. Here's the door, there's some grids, I mean barred windows. Very cool. Hmm. Interesting interior. Into the back here. We've got another survival kit uh, survival kit with some weapon racks here. Cargo containers, event controller, and that goes back out there. What is this thing over here? Oh this is just the survival kit as well. Alright. I guess that's the whole interior. Let's uh, let's drive the truck now. I do like how my rover is just chilling in there. All right, here goes. Hum. Uh, I guess I need to unpark the trailers. Turn off the brakes. Why is that one wheel still breaking? Ah. Uh, oh, let me just increase all the powers on these things. Increase power. Ha, huh, there you go. You can solve anything with enough horsepower. Alright, hmm. Well, the acceleration is, you know, kind of slow. I guess we can increase the all the power and remove the speed limit. Infinite speed. I do like the feel from first person. It's quite spacious in here, but you do also get a decent amount of protection. Oh, what the hell? 316 tons and I'm not even carrying anything in my infantry. Is this truck like heavy armor? No, this is light armor. How do we weigh 316 tons though? What the hell? Uh, is there anything in the infantry? No, it's empty right now. Like this truck is almost as heavy as a small large grid ship. Right, come on. Start moving. This is gonna be a long video. Oh, I do like that uh, neon tube antenna, by the way. Those neon tube antennas there, those look pretty cool. Ah, there you go, we can finally move faster now. Hmm. So, you know, once we gain momentum, this can definitely travel a little bit faster, which does help. Like, you can actually turn now, but you know, the ground clearance of the wheels there are not super great on this truck. So if you go to a hill or bumpy grounds, you can get easily stuck on this truck. So you just gotta keep that in mind whenever you drive this thing. Oh, uh, stop. Oh, this, is, this takes forever to break. I mean, the truck weighs 300 tons, so you know. 
What's that thing over there? Oh, for the trailer wheels. Ah, uh, never mind. Hmm, I guess the bumper can be lowered. What the hell? Uh, wait, I think I disconnected the trailer. Uh, can I reconnect the trailer with this button? Ah, there we go. That's a very handy button over there. Alright, how do I lower this bumper? Uh, hinge. I don't see any button that can lower the bumper. I guess this just like a static bumper then. So I'm guessing the. <laughs> Wait, no, hold on. Not like this. Oh, without the trailer, the vehicle is kind of fast actually. Can we dock again? Come on. Come on. Alright, uh, water. Uh, attach. Oh, hold on, this is kind of hard. Oh, I think I broke something. Uh, alright, I got it this time. Uh, that's kind of cool. Actually, if you detach the trailer, it can be like a separate base and you can use the truck to go around. Come on. I guess I can lower the wheel suspension. Oh, this will, oh there we go. Alright, come on. <laughs> See, I told you guys I got this. There we go. Extraordinary situations require extraordinary solutions. Attach rotor. Oh, why is it not attaching? So now if I control the ship using the remote control, I can lower the thing there while watching from here. So I can do a precise drop of the trailer. Alright, we got the trailer aligned. Now I just need to attach again. Haha, <laughs> whoops. Ah, uh, hold on. <laughs> Wait. There we go. <laughs> Who's laughing now? Alright, you guessed now what time this is. Alright, can the truck survive? Oh, revive. <laughs> Wait, no. Very good. There we go. That's kind of impressive though. The truck survive all this abuse. Alright, let's get inside. Uh, come on, where's the driving? Alright, can the truck survive? Uh, drive down a steep cliff? Here it goes. Come on. I mean, ah, uh, trees. Huh. Actually, because this is like a small grid vehicle. It's actually more resilient to collision damage compared to large grid vehicles. So this thing is actually quite survivable. Are you guessing this? I'm like hitting all the grounds, I mean all the rocks there. And uh, alright, here it goes. Oh, alright, did you guys see that? The thing doesn't even explode or whatever. It just kind of rolls. But it's not getting too damaged. Oh, by the way, uh, I figured the bumper on the front there, it's on a subgrid because that makes it easier for the bumper to cut down trees. Ooh. We still have all of our wheels and my rover is still in there. Oh, wow. Uh, What the hell? I think this is the most survivable vehicle that can survive falling down a cliff that I've reviewed so far. I mean, look at how far we've traveled. We went from all the way up there to down here and we've only got some minor damage. Well, there's a broken window here and some of the armor are, well, there's holes on the truck now. But you know, this is still pretty much fully functional. 
we didn't even lose any wheel there. Huh, crazy. Alright, let's bring this truck to the next test. This is impressive, like this truck is actually very durable. Oh, wait. <laughs> We're fine. Come on, we just need to carry this back to the ice lake over there. Come on. Look at how strong the connection to the trailer is to the truck there. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh, there we go. Something finally broke. Oh no. Wait. Ah, uh, well. Oh. Huh. What the hell? I guessing this. My rover is in the fourth dimension now. I guess I can just teleport the truck to the ice lake. I mean, this is kind of insane. Like, we're still using the same truck from the beginning of the video. Oh, alright, this is not gonna be fair to the truck because the truck is damaged already. But we're gonna try to attack that base over there with this truck over here. I need to fix this uh, thing down here first though. It's kind of made the truck stuck there. Oh, is that all that's left from my rover? <coughs> alright, here it goes. Maximum speed. Oh, something keeps... I think there's like something stuck down there. Ah! <laughs> I, I can barely turn. Come on. Alright. We're still uh, going here. Gonna turn left to dodge all those missiles. Kind of easy to dodge all those missiles with this low frame rate. Uh, uh, turn left. I mean turn right. Ooh, uh, emergency controls on the control. Come on. Is there any remote control in here? Ah, uh, remote control. We don't have any remote control. Break the truck. Uh, break the wheels. Ah, uh, I mean, considering how strong this trailer is, you can probably make some kind of a less than from in here. Oh, well. Let's spawn a new one actually. I wanna see how this performs. I don't think this turret up here can shoot without a player controlling the turret, but we're gonna see anyway. Alright, here we go again. I'm getting shot at by the Gatling turrets. Where's the missiles? I don't see. Oh, there we go. Here comes the rockets. Oh, here goes the bumpers. Come on. Alright. So we've got enough armor on this vehicle to kind of rust the enemy like this. And once we're under the base, we can use the custom... <laughs> Hold on, let me get to the trailer. Get inside the trailer. Open the trailer, come on. Then I can use the... Oh. No. Is there any control seat left in there? Alright, custom turret controller. Uh, turret controller. <laughs> well, but you know, if you have like a gunner, that can probably work better. This is a really cool truck. Like all things considered, this is a very resilient truck here. So, yeah, that's the Spec Ops Mobile based by TDF113. You guys can find the link in the description below. Oh, look at all this wreckage.